Today we're on Revelation chapter 21, and the entire chapter points to one thing. I'm Amy from the Lakes, and like I said, we're reading a chapter a day, and we're on chapter 21 of the book of Revelation, and I would highly encourage you to read it. It's pretty fantastic. Uh, so the whole chapter is talking about the new heaven and the new earth and the new Jerusalem. And uh, it describes this holy city in awesome splendor. We're going to take a look at ch verse 3 and 4, and it says this. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. What a fantastic set of verses. A beautiful picture of what it will be like when Jesus returns and the new heaven and earth are here. So the rest of the chapter goes on to describe how beautiful and impressive and large the new Jerusalem will be. And all these images and features of the city are simply, they're depicted in the symbolic way um, to give us the picture that there is a much greater grandeur to come than we could ever imagine. Um, in verse 16, it talks about the measurements of the city and, um, and how it is essentially a cube, which is really interesting because the Holy of Holies in the temple was also a cube. And so what John wants his readers to pick up on is this idea that the presence of God is going to be fully with his people in a really intense way way. Verse 22 says, I did not see a temple in the city because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. Now this might not surprise us, but it would have shocked the original readers. They would have fully expected there to be a temple in the New Jerusalem, in the coming kingdom. But what John is saying here is, not that there won't be a temple, but that essentially the entire city, the whole coming heaven and earth, New Jerusalem, is the temple of God. It's bigger and grander than what anyone could have imagined. What this chapter describes is the ultimate plan of God. And it is this that God would fully be present with his people in complete unity. He's always desired a relationship with us. And the new Jerusalem is a fulfillment of that, that we will live together with God in his presence in fully in his light. And it will be amazing. It's the fulfillment of all that God has planned. Mm -hmm.